Hello again, friends. This is Jackie with Jackie of All Trades. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about a few lessons that I learned during the course of doing my kitchen renovation. Many of you know that I did complete a renovation uh, over the last year, and I learned quite a few things during the process about myself, about renovations in general, and about the power of endurance. So today we're gonna go over five things that I learned during the renovation process that I think are applicable to all sorts of endeavors that we try to go through in life. But before we get into that, if you're looking at me again today and you're saying that girl Jackie is kind of cool, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel because I put out more content just like this and I think that you'll find the content that I put out will be worth your while. And while we're thinking about it, if you like me, you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way towards helping me with the YouTube matrix. And I encourage you to leave a comment. It always makes for lively discussion. And I enjoy hearing what you guys think about the content that we're putting out here at Jackie of All Trades. With that, so let's jump right in. Lesson number one for me, have a plan. Do your homework. The fact is I was planning, vision boarding, color paletting, design concepting a full two months before I ever hit launch on this project, okay? So by the time that I started the project, I already had a vision of where I wanted to go. I definitely began with the end in mind. Lesson number two, find a way to find calm in the chaos. For the most part, I was a one woman show with this renovation, but let's face it, life goes on. I still have a day job, my family still has needs. This kitchen was in full use through the full duration of this renovation project. That means paint cans and brushes, a level, toolkit, a caulk gun, tape, they were always close by. And I had a step ladder that pretty much lived in this kitchen, if you can imagine it. And for much of the time, there were some doors missing on the cabinets and all of the contents inside the cabinet were open for everybody to see. Embrace this chaos as the cost of doing business because this will be your life for a lengthy period of time. Number three, details matter. For instance, the process wouldn't have gone nearly as smoothly if I hadn't taken the time to thoroughly clean and degrease the space before getting started. Taking time to thoroughly prep the space is critical for a successful outcome. Also, do not overlook the finer details that make a difference in the overall look of the final product. Little things that I did, such as painting behind the fridge or painting up under the cabinets, installing under cabinet lighting, uh, the wainscoting detail that I did around the peninsula and, and on different parts of the cabinet, like right here, for example. It was more work, but it gave the final product an upgraded and more custom feel. This leads us to lesson number four, take your time. It can be tempting to want to cut corners. Maybe you don't wipe down a product after you sand it, for instance, or skip out on that second or third coat of paint. Sloppiness in these areas will show itself when you're finished. Save yourself a headache of trying to redo everything and get it all right the first time. And number five, mistakes can happen. Mistakes will happen. When mistakes happen, stay calm, regroup, and make the necessary adjustments. Don't be afraid to ask for help. The one way to guarantee that you never succeed is to never try at all. Oh, and here's a bonus lesson as Jackie pulls out her pom-poms to cheer you on. Know this, you can do it. You can do this. At times the task may seem daunting and at times the obstacles may seem insurmountable. There will be days where you can define success by the mere fact that you showed up to work that day. You're still moving forward. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. You will succeed. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 9:11 that the race is not given to the swift nor the battle given to the strong man. Time and chance happen to us all. But if you endure, you will attain the prize. Again, you can do it. Look at me. I had zero kitchen renovation experience and I was more than just a tad behind the eight ball, especially when we're talking about design and renovation, but I got it done. You don't need a huge barrel of money to make high impact changes in your space. I encourage you, just move forward. Can you take one little bitty step? Maybe just make a change to your paint color. Switch out your knobs and pulls on your cabinet doors and drawers. 
Maybe you can even do a quick peel and stick backsplash change. Step out and try it. You'll be amazed at how much you can accomplish with just a little bit of effort and determination. That's our video for today. I encourage you to check out my DIY kitchen renovation playlist for a more detailed look at my work at each step of the renovation. You'll also find my reviews for the Lumio Bladeless Ceiling Fan as well as the Whirlpool Slimline Over the Range Microwave. Thanks again for visiting my channel. This is Jackie of All Trades signing off saying, I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.